welcome back to my channel so I'm sorry that I have not been uploading very consistently like I usually do but that is because we've been sick as I said in my uh, grocery vlog from the other day um, I still got a little bit of an earache the kids still got a little bit of an earache and really stuffy but today I am back doing a video for you guys Actually, I'm going to pre-record two videos tonight for you guys so I can have some uploaded for this week. So, in, in today's video, I'm going to be doing a first impressions slash review on this little foundation that I got, uh, I think, last month at Walmart and I just forgot to do a video on it. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump on into this video. But before we do, go down and click that little red subscribe button. Click the bell to be notified when I upload, and I'll see you guys in the next clip. Okay, so, I ordered this foundation off Walmart's app. Um, it was like 2 or $3. It took a few days to get here, but um, it was packaged really well. It had bubble wrap all the way around it, um, like that styrofoam stuff that they use for glass bottles. It really don't feel like a glass bottle it feels more like a plastic bottle and it is in nude beige I don't know if you guys can actually see that right there um, but it is by the brand LA girl it's pro coverage HD which is high definition long wear illuminating foundation so I saw this and I was like why not pick it up because I haven't bought a new foundation in a very long time and my elf one is starting to run out so I wanted to do this little first impressions review video um, like I said it was pre-packaged and everything um, I just took it out of the packaging and everything um, so this is how much how big the bottle is it's like the same size of my hand um, it is 0 0.95 fluid ounces which is 28 milliliters um, for those of you that want to know, um, like I said, this is like two or three dollars, and I just now noticed this on the bottom of the bottle, it has a pair of lips. Like, I don't know if you guys can really see that that well, but like I said, this is my first time actually applying this foundation, so I'm gonna put my hair up and let's get started. Okay, so my hair is up in one of my little funky buns that I always do so let's go ahead and pop the top off it did have a little seal around it but I went ahead and took the seal off uh, the other day but there's what it looks like it's got a little pump right here if you guys can see so let's go ahead and try this out I don't know if you can like open it this way not by this big piece down here but by the actual top is how you open it so that is what it looks like it is very liquidy by the way it looks i don't know if it's just it's melted or what so i'm gonna give it a good shake give it a good shake i am going to put some on the side of the lid right here you know you gotta give it a few pumps whoa it is like very liquidy I don't know how well this is gonna work but let's get into it so ooh. this might not be my color I might actually have to have more than just this little bit okay and right off the bat it kind of smells good but in a way it kind of stinks it kind of smells like old foundation it's like been sitting for a very very long time um so let's finish applying this like this okay so now we've got it on my face here now let's take my beauty blender and just Pulling this out, so here we go. And don't mind my, my nose ring; it's it's not really. Oh my god! This, I feel like this is not my color at all. Like 
you guys can say yeah this is definitely not my color so blend it down to the neck a little bit now, this is not my color at all but I don't know though I ain't fully got it blended in yet so it's blending actually really 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 well it's just that I don't want to keep you guys sitting here waiting and waiting and waiting so I will be right back Okay, so here's how it looks after I got it blended out, like, um, kind of good, but not that good. But, overall, I will say, sorry, I just, like, moved my camera. I will say it did blend out really easily, but I just feel like it's, it's not my color. Like, looking at it in the mirror right now, it makes me look a little too dark. Um, on camera, it's making me look pale, so I really don't know, and it, like, feels really, really greasy. Like, I don't know if you guys can see that, how, how smooth my finger is just going across my face. I even blended it, like, halfway down my throat, like, to right here. I blended it all the way down to my throat, and you guys can see the, the difference. And, I mean, it blended easily, but I just feel like... I don't know to me it's it's still not my color like because my every other foundation that I get like that is like nude beige or whatever it's my color but like this one here it, I, I feel like it's making me too dark but on camera it's making me too pale I don't know if it's just the camera not picking it up that good or what it is but I mean it looks good um, it's got like a flawless, um, it's got like a flawless look. Hang on, I'll try to, like, you guys can see what I'm talking about. Like, look at my ears. It's making me look darker. Kind of like, like, cake face. Um, I guess that's how people call it. And then turn my ring light off. See? See how it's making me look darker? I just turned my ring light off and... It's making me look really dark, and you see how greasy it is. So, honestly, I really don't like it. It was not really worth my money, but, you know, hey, I wanted to try try something new. Um, but see, with my ring light back on, it looks flawless, if that makes sense, what I'm trying to say. But, I'm going to put some powder foundation on it and see how that actually goes. But, let me give you guys another close-up without the ring light on. So, okay, so this is without the ring light on, as you guys can see. It's giving me, like, really cake face. Like, right here is where I stopped, just for the purpose of the video. I didn't blend it back this way. Like, you can see the difference. This is the foundation, this is not. So, I mean... It's really, really greasy. Like, you can see right through here how greasy it is. So, I mean, honestly, I really don't like it. But, you know, for like Halloween looks or whatever. For like Halloween looks or whatever, it will do good. Um, now, I'm not going to really, really uh, disown this foundation. Because, you know, it was $3. Um... But, however, I'm not going to constantly use this and, because it feels more like, like I'm just rubbing oil on my face with, uh, with color. So, but, however, like I said, that is just me. I don't know if it's, like, my preference that I like the matte foundations better than this one. Because it don't really say, it just says long wear eliminating foundation. Uh, apply to face with sponge or brush medium to full coverage so it it covers pretty well I'm not gonna really lie about that it's just I don't like the feeling of it on my skin it feels how can I say it, it feels like I'm just taking like baby oil and rubbing it all over my face you know what I'm trying to say um, 
smooth, long wearing, flawless looking finish. You guys let me know what you guys think. Do you love it? Do you hate it? What? So, I am going to go apply some powder foundation on this and then I will be right back. Okay, so with the powder foundation on, you guys can see that I didn't blend it very well. But with the powder foundation, it gives it more of like a smooth uh, texture. It makes my skin feel really smooth. But, I mean, you guys can see when I do like this, like how dark it still is on my face. Like, you guys can even see like up around my nose ring area. Um... But, like I said, it was only $2. I'm not going to really complain about the price. And, like, because you get what you pay for, you know. So, I'm not really going to complain about the price of this and stuff. But, I am going to wear it in a, another video here in a minute. Because I'm going to do a fall makeup look. So, I mean, I'm going to see how it does. Blend it in with my foundation, or my eyeshadow, like... There's with no ring light again. Like you guys could still see that it it still looks greasy even with my powder foundation. Like I don't know if it's just this consistency or what it is, but like I don't know. I just honestly I don't like it. Do not spend your money on this. Some people may have better um better things with this but me personally I, d I really don't like it I would rather have my um, this one right here I'd rather have my elf one like you can see you can see the difference in these two like you can see I would rather have my elf one like I said like just a color difference See, this is more my skin color. This in here, it's, I don't know. I don't really don't, it's like a love-hate relationship. I love it because it's like really full coverage and it feels light and all this, but I just don't like how it feels on my skin. It's too greasy. So, I'm going to wear this for my next video and then I'm going to actually let you guys know how it did throughout me doing that video so I will see you guys back here in a little bit when I get that video done okay guys so here is my fall makeup look that I told you guys I was going to do with that foundation um, well actually my overall like how can I say it? my overall experience with this uh, foundation it's an okay foundation it's just not my absolute favorite one that I would keep buying like repeatedly buying but overall it was kind of worth the three dollars that I did pay for it because um, it did kind of make this look here that I am currently rocking it made it turn out kind of flawlessly and there it is without my ring light on as you guys can see so it did kind of like make this look a lot better because it makes me look a little bit darker but like i said i wouldn't waste another three dollars on this foundation it's not one that i'm going to keep using it's just one that i'm going to put up for like have to wise so that is my review on this foundation let me know what you guys' opinion know what your guys opinion are of this foundation if you tried it if you ain't tried it if you want to try it or not let me know down in the comments and i will try my best to respond back to you guys but i'm just gonna leave you guys here and let me know what you guys think of this fall makeup look so i love you guys and i'll see you guys in my next video